Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. I'm going to be speaking to you about consistency and inconsistency. And the reason I'm speaking to you about this is because this is something that has plagued me for quite a long time. And I've been thinking about it recently and I'm going to share what I've learned in the hopes that maybe something of what I'm sharing will help you in your life too. So I tend to be a fairly inconsistent person. I tend to have lots and lots of ideas. I tend to have a lot of energy. Um, my, because I have a lot of energy, I tend to expend a lot of energy and then I normally over, <laughs> over give and then I feel exhausted and depleted. And so my life has generally gone up and down in a bit of a sort of wave-like fashion where I do too much and then I have to rest and recuperate and I do too much and I rest and recuperate. And that's not mean to mean that I'm lying flat on my back not doing anything. It's just that my life sort of is very, very hectic and busy and then takes a much slower pace. Very hectic, busy, slower pace. And when it's really hectic and busy, I generally tend to feel like I can't do everything and feel overwhelmed. Um, and that's not to say this is what it's like nowadays. This is more what it's like was like a year, two years, three years ago, somewhere around there. And actually, one of the things that has brought all of this to my attention is creating these posts on a weekly basis for all of you. I started trying to do this when I came to the UK. I had wanted to do it in Botswana, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi I had at home, I couldn't upload any of them, so it just had to wait till I came to the UK. And I managed to do it fairly consistently, but I struggled to do it consistently. And I found it very frustrating because I knew that being consistent, there's certain things that being consistent gives people. It means, makes you um, trustworthy, believable, dependable. It allows people to really believe in you if you show up consistently. And I knew that I wasn't doing this because it's not really in my nature to be consistent. But I knew it was detrimental to what I was trying to achieve and how I was trying to show up. But what I've also realised about consistency is that those are the positive things, but they're downsides as well. Being too consistent can be boring. It can almost feel slightly stagnant if there's nothing else going on. It can make you feel predictable um, in that there's sort of almost nothing interesting happening. So that's consistent. And then we've got inconsistent, <laughs> which is where I tend to lean towards. <laughs> And being inconsistent is exciting, it's vibrant, it's full of ex interesting things, but it also can be perceived as flaky, as unreliable, as uncertain. And so what I've realised through pondering all of this over the last few weeks is that it's not about being consistent or being inconsistent, it's learning to balance the two. And for me, in doing this and through doing these posts for you, I've realised when I'm full of energy and I'm feeling inspired, I can create a number of these video vlogs or podcasts or blogs or whatever it is that I'm creating. And I can do it when I'm full of energy and I'm in the right space. And then I need a, a space of quietness, a space for pondering and thinking and inspiration. And if I work with my natural flow and allow myself the sort of boosts of energy when I want to share and I want to give, and then allow myself to come back and be more contemplative and more introspective, then actually I have more to share with you. If I was to force myself to be consistent and to do this every single week at a certain time, I would feel very constrained. I, would, I can actually, it's funny, as I share this with you, I feel my chest tighten. I feel slightly suffocated and slightly um, hemmed in and boxed in. So I'm sharing it with you because I think it's about balance. It's learning to be consistent, but in a way that validates your natural rhythm as a person. And as I was writing or just thinking about all that I wanted to share with you, it became very obvious that this talks directly into Tony Robbins's uh, human needs and the first two that he shares, which is the need for certainty and the need for variety and the ability to balance those within our lives. Now, normally when he's talking about these things, he's talking about our need for the external, those our, our needs that have to be met by external circumstances. But what I've realised in writing all of this is that it's not just our need to have our external circumstances mirror that, 
but it's actually we are like that within ourselves. So in regards to getting our external circumstances met, so our need for certainty or consistency is our need to know that we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and we will be able to survive in this world, that we will have food and shelter and people around us and a way to get by and live in this world. But we also have a need for variety because as I said, if there's too much certainty, life becomes boring, it becomes stagnant, it loses its vibrancy, it loses its aliveness. But if we have too much variety and too much uncertainty, then we get incredibly stressed because we don't know how we're going to survive in that world. So from what Tony Robbins was saying in, in regards to this, this is about external circumstances meeting our internal needs. And what I'm sharing with you is that who we are is either consistent or inconsistent. So certain or um, variable. And there needs to be a balance within that too. That we need to know our natural rhythms, to know if we're more consistent and steadfast, in which case we need to balance that with a bit of variety and a bit of excitement. Or whether, like me, you tend to be too exciting <laughs> and there needs to be a little bit more consistency. And how to do that so that it makes you feel alive and not uh, controlled and frustrated, or too out of control so that it's scary for you. Um, I know this has been a bit of a rambling one this week, but I hope there's been some gems in it that you can take through into your life. Again, I will post my website link in the show notes, so if you want to access any of my resources, either free or paid, you're welcome to have a look at that. And I also do coaching for people, so if you want to connect with me for coaching, then have a look on my website and contact me for a free chemistry call, and I'd be glad to chat with you. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.